Valtra losing to LSA <laughs> earlier has kind of shocked my confidence a bit. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know what LSA, to expect. Uh, in all fairness to LSA, though, LSA beat an absolute blinder. They, they, they did. They really did. Both what teams are Lindner going to do? Uh, <laughs> a telehandler. That's the million dollar Ooh, question now when Lindner's playing. Both are Lindner having a bad start. Yeah, Scotty Ultra is having a very beaten. bad start. Scotty beaten to the new Holland Harvester. So Lindner have a new Holland and an ideal. And I think they have the ideal they reserved. Yeah, so now they've switched to both yeah. ideals. They they grab the new Holland kind of, I think, as a disrupt. Vulture are going with the Massey combine here. Lindner, a little bit slow out the gate here. for first bail, but I'm not sure that Vulture are any further ahead. Where's Martin with his first bail, I wonder? Is he already almost on the Lindner way in? Lindner have the auger out. Does that mean... Oh, there it is. The grain is going. Currently, all these teams are only in Europe, but uh, since oh, I was hired by Giants Martin. full time... Martin has been a bit off with the first bail today, hasn't he? Based off his uh, previous form, that was, previous that was record really holder. Really wide. Um, maybe it's a, a latency issue. You know, that's the bad thing about having Possibly. like the online tournament. It's a little bit of a crapshoot with people playing from all over. Who knows? 111 first bail for Lintner. 109 first bail for Vultra. Pretty darn close. And precious seconds lost. Yeah, long-term plan is to grow the FSL beyond Europe. It's been very successful in Europe through the first three seasons. It's starting to grow in North America. We'll probably have some one-off tournaments in North America hopefully next year. Um, but North America participating in the circuit is kind of more of a long-term plan because we just need more teams interested here, for one thing. Currently... There's uh, probably three or four teams that the that North America could field, so it's got to grow a lot more beyond that. Yeah. There we go. Martin going through with that fent bailer. It is both fast, it takes a smaller amount of straw to create bales, but does require 300 horsepower to work properly. Hello, Cordy on YouTube and everyone else on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Hope you're enjoying yourselves today. We've got a couple of matches left, minimum, if not three here between these two teams. One of these teams will advance to the quarterfinals, one will see their thir season three journey come to an end. So there is a lot at stake here in this. That was more white than my big bud. When big tires. bud apparently was held uh, <laughs> by the auto mod mystic. <laughs> uh, for I some reason. <laughs> Maybe it thought it was a euphemism. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, Justin, of course. Canada is in North America, so you are correct. It is included. Like, we've opened an, well, it's not officially open yet, but we do have a couple of yes. employees, including myself, uh, working out of the U.S. to represent the Western Hemisphere, mainly Canada and the U.S., but also the rest of the countries on this side of the globe because our time zones match up. Eventually, the sh uh, office will exist physically in the Chicago suburbs sometime next year, if all things go well. And the reason we pick Chicago is because it has pretty good proximity to Canada as well. Really close to Toronto and other parts of the middle of Canada. Uh, great international airport, two airports, in fact. So... And hey, it's in the Todd Midwest, Templer, welcome along. Near a lot of major uh, farming manufacturers. Uh, 
And Valtra are going for the overloading because they got slowed by Lintner. Oh, that does mean that grain multiplier has not hit. I can't believe my eyes. Vulture have a three to one, or uh, Lender have a three to one multiplier and aren't dumping their grain. What is they... this? <laughs> they're, they're, they're going against Vulture. They're not silly enough to try that. As I said, I think if they win this, they might try it in the second one. Um, but I don't think they'll try it in the first. And Martin is duplicating himself. <laughs> this is on FS19, Dustin. The Farming Simulator League client is a free DLC for Farming Simulator 19. I'm glad you've gotten to watch it I... live, Mystic. Uh... Dragon Spud, in my experience, that's true of any city. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. You are correct. Yeah, I'll be relocating there, there once there the are office parts exists. There storage I wouldn't go near. <laughs> my team's just putting those bales together now. <clears throat> Three bales created for Lintner, six for Vulture. So Vulture have a three bale advantage as it stands at the moment. Can Lintner make that up? Good skill duplicating. It is a good skill duplicating. It doesn't last very long and you can't control the other character, but... <laughs> Keep the other team off guard because they think you're in two places at once. Hello, Zhao Gracio. Thank you for the compliment. Welcome along. Gareth Bradley over on Facebook. Not at this time. It's a long-term goal to get it on consoles. But for FS19 and FSL, it is PC only. You have to connect to a dedicated server, so um, currently that only existed on PC for FS19. We don't know what the future holds yet for the FSL beyond this season. No. I wait. Waited. Because I love the FSL. It's freaking awesome. You're awesome, Alex. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, that's an easy answer twisted for my cohort, Alex, here. What your favorite piece no, of machinery, machinery and game would be. <laughs> what would be my favorite? Oh, yeah, the New Holland T6. Always. <laughs> that's, I don't but really. then that's because I'm, I'm a New Holland fan. Yeah, I don't really have a favorite, to be honest. Uh, I bounce around all over the place. I like trying out as much equipment as possible, really. Well, I mean, we're not going to put an office in Michigan when the other the one's going to be in Chicago. Okay. I mean, <laughs> we're only ever going to have one probably like in, you know, a single country. Yeah. Even though the U.S. is massive, we've gone with Chicago because it's close to being in the middle. Like I said, all the other reasons we picked it, too, is the area. But, yeah, I mean, if you... if. Feel free, like we're always posting jobs on the website and eventually the U.S. office will have more jobs available. So if you're willing to relocate to that area, definitely encourage you to apply. That's how I'm here today. I already knew them a bit as an ambassador and just a content creator in general. I started doing some commentary for this early this year. And then a few months after that, I applied for the community coordinator position and look at me now. Here I am. And it's an honor it's a dream come true. It really is like a dream job for me and such a great company to work for. Have you heard about what Taz has just put in chat? I'm the one that came up with that idea initially. Oh, were you? Yeah, in your <laughs> chat. <laughs> I was in your chat that day and planted that seed in his head. 
Oh, man. Yeah. It's going to be so annoying. <laughs> and I say that knowing it's me. <laughs> the T6 oh. is in, in all of my best fans. I'm, I'm actually my, my favorite... Um, uh, <laughs> my favorite uh, New Holland tractor is the uh, T7 short wheelbase, which uh, my wonderful friends at Giants keep refusing to put in the base game. <laughs> I have to go find the mods. Um, oh, what? What did Martin? Martin, just pull that backwards. Yeah, so you can like, if you unattach that thing, you can actually like pick up a bale with it front. unattached. It'll still do the animation. We've seen it. A couple of teams doing it today. That is. Uh... That is impressive. I'm getting guessing. Whee! Yeah, but way. Oh, Bales broke his fall there, <laughs> Resurgeris. At which point, I want to press a Dixie horn. <laughs> but Here we are gets the with four reference. minutes to go. The super drops are out there. I couldn't see at that shot what it is. I think it's bail points no lord baylor i thought i saw nice. the word bail well, there you go that would the move option. automatically score two bales is that uh, it's really close at the moment two points in it oh scotty getting stuck oh good correction well done oh no he's in oh wow all of them getting air now so uh Paul Eric and uh, lots of bales coming. Says in. it would be cool if FSL could be in real life. Well, we did have a real life bale stacking challenge take place at FarmCon, and uh, the likes of Voltra and Trelleborg and others participated in that. And Trelleborg don't just win virtual Farm Sim League; they won that real life bale stacking challenge event too. Some yeah, of these players it, are farmers which in real life. Some of them work in like manufacturer warehouses and run stackers in real life. So. Um, they do have some crossover there. So real life bail stacking was not that foreign to them to participate in as well. Uh, oh, yes, Scotty's got that in. Ultra catching up. But Linda doing really well here and there's an equal there's an equal number of bales on the field now and lintner are well ahead this is actually looking a little bit concerning for vault here comes 14 more on the anderson for lintner there we go And uh, uh, come on. This is actually really close. Not many bales kicking around for Vulture. A minute and a half left on the clock. And and Lindner are heading for a little bit of an upset here in the first game. Yeah. It's uh, not been Vulture's day so far. Still, though, anything could happen. If some of these bales start falling off, it could flip the other way. But it is looking good for Lindner at the moment. Uh, Dottie doing a cracking job of loading these on. Bumcon is awesome, three seeders. Absolutely awesome. And I've only I've only managed to actually make it to one physical one. <laughs> but I had so much fun. Thirty-five seconds to go. Seven eleven to six forty nine. Linder in the lead. They have the bail advantage. Can they get them all in though? They're just bringing in the loader this now. Is going. I think he might back this up on the bottom. 
Ooh, Vulture. Yeah, I think yeah. I think they they're gonna get those guaranteed points in rather than trying to muck about with it on the top. They're just not enough points in these bales for wow. Vulture. Wow. An upset. Wow. And Vulture I mean, don't even get their last two bales in. Goodness. Wow. Yeah, the I, communication I'm... is key in this twisted for sure. Yeah. Because it only specifically yeah. says the Massey and, and not the Manitou, but it does say both were updated, but then it only lists what the, Ma the uh, Massey was updated to. Oh, okay, I see it says similar to Manitou. Uh, so they used to be different, but now they're the exact same. Right. Gotcha. Uh, looks like Vultra have got the better start. It's all about how well they back up to this pillar, and yes, they've got the Fent Baylor. But Lindner have the uh, have both of the Fent Ideal Combines. That's cool, Rumble. Well, I think we're gonna. I, I I think you're right, Kermit. I think they're gonna do uh, exactly the same. I, yeah, it's if it's not Lindner, broke, don't fix it. I mean, it would yeah. be a huge gamble against a team like Vulture to expect it to work. For sure. Uh, Alex, do you have the answer to this question? The average prices of a ticket to FarmCon? I have no clue. Um, I don't. <laughs> Mainly because I got invited over last time. <laughs> right. I figured that was the case. Let me see. All right, Jeez. Ferrix misses the drive-by bailing. Let's see if how Martin does this time. Martin gets it that time, 120. Didn't go quite as fast. And now Ferrix is trying to push it in, 113 for Lindner. A lot of time, though, has been wasted by Ferrix there, having to unhook and then reattach to the baler. Yeah, it does doesn't list the uh, the price of FarmCon tickets on the um, on the website, so I cannot tell you because it's all closed. Twelve forty-five could be all that stands between Vulture and Elimination here. They have to win this. That would that would be such an upset today. Yeah, bigger than like just LSA beating them. Like Linder now could knock them out. Like be two huge upsets for Vulture, and the biggest one would be that they wouldn't be playing next month in the season finals. They have to bring their A game here. Both teams, yeah. It looks like we have no change of tactic here from Lintner. Yeah, I wouldn't expect much different. If Lintner go yeah. on to win this, though, in two straight games, playing like for like against Vulture, my question is going to be to Lintner, then why even do your crazy strategy anymore? You're clearly good I, players I, with said, the normal I strategy. I think they were trolling. I, th I think they saw an opportunity and were, were trolling. <laughs> You're not wrong, but they've won more games today using oh, yeah. playing a normal strategy than they have with that crazy one. I, I do. A, it's I, entertaining. I do it's fun to see though, at the end of a round, but it's a, a new little strategy. bit wild. Yeah. Yeah. That it was is... really fun when they first unveiled it. I just remember us being like, "What are they doing?" <laughs> And we had yeah. Lars with us as well, I think, at that tournament. Uh, that was when it was all three of us. And I think you were like, that's a mistake. It's got to be a mistake. But you're like at that point, that's you're the... thinking it is a mistake. Because like, what the heck else would they be yeah. doing? But, oh, man, that was a heck of a time when they unveiled it for the first time.
And they, they did it as a last Hail Mary at the time. It was it was Backs looking like we're going out. Yeah. We're, we're getting outplayed. Let's do something crazy kind of stuff. Right. And, you know, everybody will, if we go out, people will still remember us for doing something crazy in this tournament. Uh, Irish Farmer, it is keyboard and mouse. You can request a controller, but for online events, there's really no way to enforce what people are using. But I would imagine the majority of these players are using keyboard and mouse because that's what they're used to. But you can request a controller at official events, but you can't use a, a steering wheel. Uh, so we've got small bale advantage to Vultra at the moment of two bales. Is that because... What? Have Lindner not started baling yet? Have Vultra got the drop on them? So I think what's happened is Ferex yeah. was getting the grain cart after the first bale and now is going to retrieve someone else's tractor to grab a baler with good morning sharper fire hope you had a good sleep good morning sharper weren't you at the beginning of the stream you went to bed then and went I back think up for the end <laughs> is it is it he's in australia isn't he i think sharper no i think in north america sharper oh, hangs out america. in the um scrimmage streams oh, okay we had On somebody Fridays. in in the stream at the start who um who said oh it's 10 p.m here in australia i'm going to bed now right and... <laughs> 40 seconds away from the Have eighth we... minute drops wow and a 10 bale advantage at the moment with Ultra. Wow. That's a bit huge. Yes, it is. Three hours of sleep, Sharper. I think that might be more than I got Oof. in total last night. <laughs> There we go. Herbicide and bale multiplier are our drops. Don't think either team is going to go for that. I don't think either of that is worth uh, going too far off track. I don't know. Bale multiplier he and says, they have 16 press. Yeah, I was about to say bail multiplier with that bail advantage. I can... Deliver them yeah, now, no, though. Vulture, probably... or it's wasted. And Ferex is ignoring it. Yeah, they need to press bales. That's their problem. They're too far behind. But here, like, yeah, so Scotty is in the distance taking some bales in. Whether he has, I don't think he has the Anderson loader. And Monty is now dropping grain. Yeah, Elm Creek is going to be a lot of fun. Three seeders. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. So, they scored what? A couple there? One? Two, I maybe? Think so. With the bail multiplier? 32 points. Scotty's got time to get more in now, too. So, I'm so excited to see someone pick up bail multiplier. And yeah, actually someone actually utilize taking it. advantage of the multiplier. Right, because it's giving them thirty-five. Is that a is that one point five? Yeah. Or one point two? Because I thought I swear it said thirty-two points a second ago. Go on up. Because it adds the, it on um, top of your regular multiplier. Oh, only wait. Uh, yeah. Only thirty? Oh, because you can only have a max. See, I thought with that so it would 30. actually go over the thirty. I thought it, yeah. Points, but I guess it's thirty points max. I oh, know it's one point five, so it's it's twenty divided by two, so that's an extra ten. Oh, so it's I thought it was one point five added to the no. multiplier. Gotcha. 
So it's it's still on top, but it's it's so they've got they've got a two times multiplier. So it takes what the two times multiplier gives them and then gives them, yeah, half again. Oh, trying to chuck him in the top oh. and it backfired. Wah, wah. <laughs> Dotty coming in with two more bales. And both teams now want to get these bales in as quickly as possible. It's just inspired possibly. by the U.S. Yeah. Midwest. Elm Creek is three seeders. It's not, our maps are never like a specific it's, location. It's always no. inspired by like a general region and then also has some elements that are, you know, meant more for a map to just flow well. It's also because no, no region will have um, areas for every single piece of equipment in the game to work and i know i've been told in the past uh, that the base game maps have to allow you to be able to use every single piece of equipment right so. although i'm gonna be intrigued to see some of you try to use the walkabout mother bin <laughs> on yeah no, that, that's the bit that intrigues me the most is that, that thing is ridiculous if that's true then oh my god how big is the biggest field on those maps <laughs> yeah that thing the walkabout mother bin is redonkulous it really is uh, i think i think some 16 times maps are going i to was be told that um very much. that for that mother bin to be uh designed by our team yeah that they so like most trailers in the game have like a general structure that has already been set for them so when a new trailer of a normal type is added they can take that you know initial structure and then build it out from there whereas yeah. this walkabout mother bin had to be built entirely from the ground up and it apparently was quite a challenge for the team because it, there's so many axles on that thing i mean it, it is ridiculously large it is it's in fact, let's. It's got like if, eight if the FSL axles at each ever end comes or to, if the FSL ever comes to FS22, which in the long term I would assume it will, uh, let's replace that uh, semi truck trailer with the walkabout mother pen. <laughs> I don't know how it would be useful because it's way more grain it's than got you need. The larger but... one, the WMB6000, has nine axles. Yes. Five exactly. at the front, four at the back. Yeah. <laughs> No, that is zoo. just insane. Uh, 19 mods will not work on 22 directly. People will have to convert yeah. them over as, as as it's been in the past or create them brand new and convert them. But, you know, the, the engine is uh, an improved new version of the engine, Giants Engine 9. So the editor will be based off of that. So it's not as easy as just moving one over. It is possible to convert them, and I, I, I think vehicle versions are probably going to be easier to 21, uh, 22 from 19 than they were from 17 to 19. If you want um, it to be a challenge, the only, wheels it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the only thing, um, the only thing I'm wondering about at the moment and want to look into is uh, sounds, because I think the sound setup is very different between the two. Right, yeah, you have the sound engine improvements now, and like modders actually are going to be able to uh, put in custom sounds if they would like for s specific equipment. Um, with the as some strange streamer screaming, "Hello and welcome along." When you start <laughs> the engine. Uh, there's there's several people <laughs> that um, have farm knowledge that work on our team and we also work closely with the manufacturers mm. as well. A fully loaded mother bin was undrivable even with the biggest bud. Wow. Yeah, what uh so was that on nineteen Todd that you used the mod of that, mother yeah. Bin? yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're one minute away here. Vulture look like they're going to be forcing a third of the best of three. A third, yeah. 
Lindner are not massively behind, though, but this is the at this point even, a bail for bail stack. Yeah. And there's a good. This is this is that hen bail advantage that Voltra had at the beginning of this. Yeah, incredible mouse. These are longer because there's more games with the double elimination with the losers bracket. Um, so oh, but Voltra making mistakes. Same amount of teams as a quarterfinal to final run would be on a broadcast, but because of the losers bracket, there's more games overall. Vulture are gonna do this. It looks like Vulture are gonna do it. There, there are not enough bales kicking around for Lintner. That Vulture, is it. We're going to a third game. Vulture are so good um, at responding to pressure with their backs against the wall, and yeah. they've just shown it again. There, they've just shown it again. All right, <laughs> I, I just want a good. I want a like close match. I want to see a super close one going to the wire where we get Alex's voice raised up a few octaves. Let's make it happen. <laughs> <Just> screaming <laughs> at the mic. <laughs> and we get very happy that I turned it down by 20%. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, here we go. This will be the last match of the day. We'll be back 10 a.m. Central European time, 4 a.m. Eastern with Group C and D tomorrow. This will be the last one, no matter who wins here for today. We already have Trelleborg and Bedner and LSA Esports into the quarterfinals. They are awaiting another team, the winner of this one, to join them. Zerzerus was beaten to the New Holland. Harvest there. the streak. Ooh. Harvest the streak by Voltra. Very disruptive. That is not good. Rush repelled, Rush repelled. Though. so they did. They didn't get all of them. Like it, it's hard. It used to be something that happened more. Um, doesn't really happen so much these days. But it is possible to get a rush my... and get all the equipment, and then the uh, if you don't reserve something, the game would end. My my question is: Did they repel the rush because? They'd reserved a harvester though, cause Lidna are only in one harvester. No, they would have had to grab something. Right? I don't know though. They are only no, running they're one reserved ideal. Harvester they can play on. True. But they've only got the ideal out there. Well, that's a good start for that, Vulture, for sure. A... Lindner, though, 126 on the first bail. Where's Here's Martin now. I think that was time spent grabbing those harvesters. That has slowed down the first bail for Martin. Ooh, wow, it may pay off really in the long run, though. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they did. Lindner only have one harvester. That is the end. So... Oh, There's... what do you do? What do you do in this situation? You know, with one you... harvester, how do you counteract the fact that you're down to one? You do something crazy. <laughs> At this point, you dump your grain and you bail behind your harvester, and you um, uh, and you just deliver lots Not a bad and point. lots. Never before have Lindner been forced into their Lindner load-up strategy, but this is the right time to be forced into it. I can't see it. any, because they're never going to generate enough grain to counteract Voltra. Voltra are always going to have more grain than them now. Yeah. So Lindner are going to have to dump and stack and get all of their bonus points from, from that. A bale multiplier, and nobody has any bales. The telehandler is always a meta when Lindner are involved, I feel like, and other teams have been using it for stacking purposes too, but definitely, like, Lindner use it for that load-up strategy. So they're not going to be able to rely on it and, here, but and they Lindner are doing have it. have come to the same conclusion as we did. 
Yep. Yeah, but really, Chameleon, what they've done is force Lindner into playing their push strategy instead of yeah. making them play without it. Like, they don't have a choice now. So definitely the, the multiplier is going to be in Vulture's um, favor. The only way that Vulture can do it because they... Uh, sorry, the only way Lindner can do it because, they, they, as I said, they can't produce the... Uh, they can't produce the grain to counter Voltra. Right. And it means that Voltra just stop having to deliver grain. Yeah, if I was Voltra now, I would dump the rest of my grain on the ground. Yeah. And just, just create get that straw as out many there. bales yeah. as you can. Yep. That's what Diaka failed to do in that one game, and I think if they would have done it, it would have been a lot closer against Lindner. Um, and I think I have I have a feeling that Vulture will realize that's what the the step they should take because I'd be really surprised if Lindner take the time to empty. They'd have to empty the ideal twice, basically, or at least one in one portion of an ideal to fill up the grain cart. Now, I think Lindner, the way they've got to do this is just load these straight in. Make it as, yeah, load it straight in and just keep doing that and keep Vultra off guard. I think he's going to leave them. Don't, he is, but it, it's it's uh, hit them hard if they if they do it this way. I think they can right. get a bail press it every time they load if they do that. I wonder if they actually, if Vulture actually wanted Lindner to have to be forced into this because they would rather take their chances against the strategy. It's a gamble both Possibly. ways, really. It's a gamble both ways. Because if that if it's intentional by Vulture, I mean, why else would they take the time away from first bail to do the harvester rush? Um, it seems like an intentional plot to be like, yeah, why don't you bring out your crazy strategy and see how it works against us? Now, that very well could be a good move by Vultra, but if they don't time the counters of the combos right, it could end up backfiring. Vultra are not dumping it. This is this is not a good idea. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. You've already got a three to one. What's the point of having more grain unless they're afraid that Lender are going to bring some in at the end? I just don't see that being well, the likely thing is, though. They don't know what Lindner are doing. Well, they can see across the map and tell that they've dumped grain. True. Um so, I don't know. I just don't, yeah, this is twice now. Like, I don't understand why teams, you know, if Linder are going to, and Linder are even more forced into the strategy with just one harvester. So, if they're not going to deliver grain and you have it three to one, what's the point of more grain? And Scotty has gone to grab slow. And Lindner do have time to go and grab their own copy of it because they can let the bailer go ahead a little bit. Oh, and there it's gone off the off the map now, so no chance for Lindner to get that drop. And going in early with these bills. Looks like he might be putting these. No, he's going to put them on the same side after all. He doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have like a full set on the Anderson, oh. but they only have 13 outstanding, so. Ah, now Vulture have got themselves into position. Just in if case he's going to push these smart, in now. They will not put these in now. 
Yeah. Not putting them in would be a great disrupt because Martin and Scotty are sitting here wasting yeah. time, basically. I don't think he's going to push them in. I think he's just trying to get it lined up well. He's trying to line it up fitly, yeah. <laughs> this is a standoff. Yeah, like <laughs> how long? How long are Boltra willing to sit there in this stand? Well, Martin left already. And not but... create ills. Yeah, Martin left already. They only really need Scotty there. Like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, Linder have meanwhile like more bales being pressed out and about. Here we go. Or not. <laughs> what is happening? What's going to happen <laughs> is they're going to put... Oh, I thought they were going to put the... No, I think I know what's happening. Oh. oh. Here it goes. They're trying to get the counter to fire. And Scotty is not falling for it. No, I mean... You, the bad thing is they should have put in more than two there because it was very obvious when it stopped after two that they've stopped it. This is this is crazy. <laughs> this is the most defensive game of Farm Sim League I've ever seen. Oh, man. A lot on the line here, and teams are playing mm. it, a defensive game. Look at all oh, those bales that Scotty is, is sacrificing is stacking. Tactical. This is the most tactical that we've ever seen. And the thing is, Scotty could not sit there forever. But yeah, Zerser's he's leaving can. all those bales sitting there, yeah. Because at some point, Scotty's got to start stacking bales. And, and, and Lintner actually are in a position where they can keep their baler out and keep bringing the bales back. It's crazy tool, but I don't think either team is crazy enough to go for it. At some point, Scotty is going to have to start stacking bales. This is crazy. And now, uh, now that <laughs> this is Scotty crazy. dropped his bales, he's just hanging out. That's what he's gonna have to do it. Or is he just gonna get held there forever? I think someone in chat has the right thought though. Like, uh, it was Matza. Like, Lender has the advantage yeah. here in this standoff. Like, this is like one of the best disruptions I've seen because of this. The thing is, is now Vulture is starting to stack. Scotty has come in, or Martin has come in to counter now with the Baylor. So Scotty can now get to work stacking. So. Vulture are going to take the lead. And at some point now, though, Lindner do have to push these in. I, I, oh, no. I know what's going to happen. Dursorus, you absolute fiend. Watch this. <laughs> Dursorus is going to wait until the combo comes up for Vulture. Uh, I think he's going to wait. Oh, there. Now, okay, countered it. combo countered. So he's just going to keep countering the combo and scoring points that way. Wow. Crazy Tool allows you to press bales for a low amount of straw for a certain amount of time, Manda. Now. Yeah, this is and insane. Now, Voltra aren't in position, so they just got to push them in. The, the great thing about this... Oh, the uh, window's closed! The great thing about this standoff here is that there's a lot on the line, a stake in the quarterfinal, and this might end up being one of the lowest scoring <laughs> games because of it. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't even know what to expect here, really. Vulture have a nice bit of a lead now, but look at the bail difference 
And Vulture are going to have to get their counter timed right. Zerza is bringing in more on this other side. <laughs> and that failed combo counter. And yeah. Yeah, they countered it again. They keep just bails. getting. They get, keep getting thirty points on the counter. And now they're pushing them in, and that's and a bail tactic. But they. Six oh seven. They no fell short. Track. Oh, there's the there's another bail tactic. And a again. And then, but they were they countered and the bail pressive. They countered oh. the bail pressive. So uh, that was well done by Vulture because they countered one. It wasn't a counter that, wasn't. that scored points, but they stopped after the bail tastic they let him get another bail tastic and then they countered on the bail pressive so really um it was only a 50 point gain for lendner there and it's just not enough but at the end of the day to win it off. so it's going to be Valtra going in to the quarterfinals they forced lendner into that strategy lendner tried something different um but for the second time today, we saw Linder try something different with this load-up strategy and, and ended up not working out for them. So Vulture, with their backs against the wall, won, won two games in a row as Ferrix is stuck on the bridge. And it will be oh. Vultra joining Trelleborg, we'll Bednar, and LSA Esports in the quarterfinals that will take place next month for the Season 3 championships. And we'll have more action tomorrow. Alex, I'm, it was a fun day. What a match. I mean... It was. I think I, I think the biggest that. story was was LSA today. 